the best way to get the best information. And tonight's Vax Facts, Mick Ferris got the answer to a very important question. Are we on the right path to have that important herd immunity by fall football and festival season? You're looking at the coronavirus's family tree. The original virus now has great, great grandchildren. And those colorful dots are different variants, meaning the virus's genetic makeup is changing. It's mutating right before our eyes. That these descendants compete with each other. So if one of them is very good at spreading, it's going to take over. Head of LSU Health Genetics, Dr. Lucio Mille, is tracking variants right here from our nose swabs. And in just the last six months of 2020, he found 28 variants. The current vaccines do work against them, but if enough people don't get vaccinated quickly, the virus will have more chances to infect, multiply, change, and outsmart the vaccine. The more viruses you have, the more likely it is that a change is going to happen by chance that makes the virus worse. So again, the time is of essence here. So we have to act fast and do not loosen our public health restrictions. LSU health epidemiologist Dr. Suzanne Straith Bourgeois says everyone, including those who caught the virus, needs a vaccine. Let's do the math. If you really want to go to Saints games, jazz, and French Quarter Fest this fall, we need at least 75% vaccinated. To get there by September 1st, we need about 17,500 people each day to get a vaccine. Right now, we average only around 10 to 11,000 a day. And while the number's picking up, it's not enough. So the sooner we get up there to the 70%, the better we are off in the long term. If we don't drastically limit the spread of the infection now, it is very likely we're all going to need boosters. Then maybe by the end of the year, we'd all have to be back in vaccine lines again. For VaxVax, I'm Meg Farris. And if booster shots are needed for new variants, the vaccines could be changed in as fast as four to six weeks.